We are live in three, two, one.
Yo, what's going on guys? Um, it's pretty dark still. Probably can't see me too well. Um, but we just got to our consignee at Lowe's. Um, so I'm just going to get my vest on, um, go on duty, slide these tandems, um, drop this trailer and hopefully connect to an empty one and see how it goes. Let's go. Ready. Alright, two slider tandems. We're going to make sure that our red's pulled as well. Come back here, pull the pin for the trailer. Hop back, get inside. Push in the yellow, put it in drive. You want to pull forward to slide those tandems back. Push in the red. Put it in reverse. Hold down the trailer brake. And that'll lock in your pins. Alright, so when we're dropping a trailer, we want to lower that landing gear so it barely touches the ground. We're going to pull this release arm for the fifth wheel, disconnect our airlines, and we're going to pull forward just enough to hear the kingpin, uh, those locking jaws releasing the kingpin. So we're going to make sure the red's pulled out, yellow's in. Once it is, we're going to lower our airbags. You can see the PSI here, the weight on the drives. And we'll pull forward when we're clear. Let's go connect to our empty. Alright, so we're going to stop when our mud flaps basically touch the front of the trailer. Just to make sure that the height's good. This one's a little bit high, so I'm just going to lower it a couple cranks. And once we connect to the trailer, we're just going to give it a nice little tug test. And we'll come back and we'll connect our lines. Air lines, electrical lines. Come back, make sure that locking jaw's wrapped around the kingpin. Supply air to our trailer. Oops. Raise up that landing gear. And we're going to do a quick little walk around, just kind of pre-trip it as well. You want to make sure you actually supply air to that trailer. So we can, while we're looking around, we're checking for any leaks. And these trailer tires are self-inflating. So us pushing that in basically inflates these tires if it needs it. Check your lights. Open up your doors. Make sure it's empty. Now we're going to slide our tandems. So we already have air put in, so we're just going to pull that red. Release the air. 
Um, this is kind of an older trailer, so it doesn't have that little button. You have to actually pull this, lock it in, and then we can slide our tandems. So we're going to push in our yellow. We want to slide them forward, so we'll reverse back on it. To lock them in, you actually got to go back, push that one back in, and then you can lock it like normal. Push in your red, hold down your trailer brake, and pull forward. And then lock in your tandems. Now, since we're waiting on pre plan, let's play a little bit of ball with Lulu. Alright guys, so that was uh, me delivering today. It was only like 42 miles. Uh, I drove most of it yesterday. So I went from Brooks to Lebanon, which is like not much of anything. Um, but hopefully it kind of showed you kind of how to drop and hook. You got to see me back a little bit. And um, make sure you guys are paying attention to your routing and directions. Make sure you're not just following your GPS. So hopefully we'll have more coming up later in the day. <laughs> Until then, uh, see what we got. I'm going to go stage at a uh, truck stop real quick and see if I get a pre-plan. <laughs> 